Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be we're going to be watching a professional game of StarCraft. Uh, this is going to be my first ever um, commentary of a professional game, and so I'm going to introduce the players in the bottom right, bottom left hand side. Sorry, we're going to have TSL's Polt. He is a well-known Terran player, and then in the top right hand side, we're going to have Rats. Dezer or Rat Z Dezer or something like that. I haven't seen him before. I've seen him around. You've got a nice stream, okay? So they're talking about uh, he's giving compliments to Polt about his stream. So in this match, we are going to be watching a ZVT. Now this is going to be my first ever uh, StarCraft 2 um, professional. Uh, commentary so please feel free to laugh at me and give me any sort of feedback that you guys feel is necessary tell me how bad I was tell me why I was bad that'd be the very best reason or even say you know if I was doing a good job please let me know it'd be really really helpful I was um, just deciding to give this a go why not because I have other things on my YouTube channel I'm just really starting off and thinking of all these other sort of things that I'm going to be you know doing but there's not much else happening at the moment so I've just decided to do a whole lot of um, random stuff so here we go this is going to be my first ever um, StarCraft 2 commentary I've noticed that I've said this about three or four times, so, you know, things not going very strange, not very well at the moment. Here we go, we've got to have a standard sort of opening for Terran, with the um, Supply Depot Barracks then into Orbital, orbital Command, well, then TSL Pult's going to be a scouting out. Uh, Zerg is also doing a very standard opener against uh, Terran. It's going to be a uh, hatchery first, followed up by a uh, pool. So nothing too extreme happening at the moment. Now how can, I can do that and I can follow it. That's pretty awesome. Now in Heart of the Swarm there are a lot of cool um, replay um, help things that uh, Blizzard has helped to do to make the replays a lot more fun to cast and a lot easier to cast so um, I will be hopefully doing some Heart of the Swarm games but I haven't been able to because I have a Mac basically and they've had some very strong issues with the Mac and at the moment you just can't I just can't log in basically it um, turns up with the opening screen and it just basically won't let me connect it says that I can't connect to the battlenet servers it says it might be down or something but I know for sure that it is up and that is just a glitch now TSL Pult's going to be expanding on the back of this uh, opener he's going to go for the factory with the reactor most likely these are going to be swapped out so that he can do double hellion production two marines coming out here and an SCV just doing some harass some zerglings coming out to try and save that overlord, but it went down. <laughs> Drizz is going to be saying mana. Rats, rats, Drizza or something. The drone's going to be coming out here. Where the heck is this drone going? He's trying to be an overlord. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's going to begin. Zerg's going to be getting his gas up. So that's most likely meaning he can get his. Wow, this is a lot of gas actually. This is very unusual for a Zerg to be doing. I am actually very curious to see what he's going to be doing with this. And this drone is in a very particular, very odd um, position. So, very excited to see what's coming out of this. What's he going to be following this up with? He did get... No, he hasn't. What is he doing with it? He's getting a very fast lair. So, this is going to be very interesting. Very, very quickly. Um... Pult's going to be putting down some uh, supply depots at the front to help block off this um, expansion just to help it with um, any sort of zergling counterattacks. And then what 
And we're going to have a banshee on the way. Is he getting cloaked? No, he's not. So he's just going to have a banshee to try and put on some pressure. Now this was some very interesting starting out by um, our Zerg player here. He didn't go for the four queens like most Zergs these days. And he hasn't got a spine crawler to defend from these Hellions. So these Hellions might be able to do a bit more damage than usual. But it was very interesting to see this very early lair. What's he doing? He's going for the Nidus Worm. And what's that? The Roach Worm. So he's going to put on some lots of pressure. Oh, I can see this Overlord here. He's most likely going to be putting a Nidus Worm somewhere in, around here. Where, um... Oh, take the cameras off. Where, what's... Oh, if he puts it there, I think it will be spotted by a Pult. But we'll have to look and wait and see. These Hellions is trying to just put some pressure on, and so is this Banshee is out here. Gonna be doing a fair bit of damage. Oh, he doesn't get the transfuse off. The Roaches are building up at the head. They think they should be defending. No, they're gonna be jumping into the Nidus Swim. The Nidus Swim is building. Is it spotted by Pulse? No, it is not. That is just, just out of reach of his vision. But it looks like Zerg is going to be having a lot of problems here and the Night of Swim is just about to pop. Here it is. What's what's going to happen? Who's going to notice it? Is Polk going to see where it is? He's going to react? No, he's not reacting to it. He's continuing to um, work on these Hellions and now he has reacted with pulling the SCVs off. This is actually... don't know how much damage this actually will do because of the Hellions are going to town in the main base and at the natural finally was able to clean those up but the roaches are now in the main base of pulp this is something that you don't want to happen as terran because you do not have you sort of set up your defenses to defend from a frontal attack with these supply depots and what's what's pulp going to be able to do with about this this is actually a lot of roaches you bring a queen over just, he's just massing up the roaches. I actually think uh, Polt is going to lose from this. He has got the tank out. This will be able to do a lot of damage to these roaches. Uh, but the Hellions are actually pretty worthless against roaches. As you can see, uh, Polt's losing all of his SCVs. I think uh, Zerg is going to win. Look at that. He's putting all the smiley faces out. Saying that he's going to win. Oh. So I think that's going to be the end for Pult. He's lost so many SCVs. That is just um, ridiculous. Workers killed 34 to 18. Oh man, this is not looking good. But look, there's Mules. And the Nice Worm comes back. The Banshee is here to try and take it down. But the Queens are coming through. And I don't think this Banshee is going to last very long with these queens and there's the gg so there you go that's going to be the end of my first ever commentary for starcraft 2 professional commentary um so thank you guys for watching if you guys have any suggestions any sort of feedback on this please write a comment in the bottom and let me know and i will try to read every single one so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it and now it's time to say see you guys and girls